What's up YouTube? It's James coming back at you with another informative video. I hope you guys are doing well out on this beautiful Tuesday evening. Doing pretty good myself. This story right here just proves that there must be some kind of curse, a wicked evil curse on the restaurant Popeyes, okay? As we know, there's no shortage of stories about Popeyes chicken. Ever since about three years ago when they launched their new chicken sandwich, they had people fighting in the drive throughs shooting each other and all that kind of stuff all up in the restaurant. Well, this is a situation that took place about a year ago involving this sister right here by the name of Denitra Dawson. Okay, Denitra Dawson decided that she was going to go and get dinner for her and her family, you know, about a year ago at this Atlanta Popeyes. So she went, she ordered you know dinner and everything and found that her order was not done right and all she wanted was to go and tell the staff there that the order wasn't completed like she asked and everything and so what they decided to do was basically jump this woman right here okay yeah traumatize this woman just because you know well she spent her money for an order that she wanted to be correct and it wasn't and all she said well this right here is not what I ordered right here and I just want you guys to replace the order or what have you they didn't do that they got all ghetto on her and everything so without further ado let's check out this particular video then we'll complete the commentary a metro Atlanta woman left home to go get food for her family and she returned absolutely traumatized and now she's filed a lawsuit after what she called a life-changing attack that left her like <sighs> This attorney sat beside their client today, or Adam Murphy was there. One year after police arrested three restaurant employees at the Popeyes on Cleveland Avenue in Southwest Atlanta, customer Denitra Dawson is taking legal action. I still don't understand this, like, why me? According to the legal complaint, Dawson placed an order at the drive-thru, and when she realized the order was wrong, she asked them to correct it. They come out. They come out of the restaurant. She remains in her car. And their objective in the furtherance of Popeye's business, their objective is to get her to move her car so that they can keep the line moving so that they don't get in trouble with Popeye's, their employer. Dawson's legal team said she waited at the window for her order. And that's when three employees, including a manager, allegedly walked outside and attacked Dawson inside her car and ripped out her hair when she would not move out of the drive through line. One of the employees physically opens up her passenger side car door, enters her vehicle, jumps into her car, and begins to attack her. Two other employees, including the manager, then open up her car door, and they're all converging on her beating her, punching her, scratching her. An Atlanta police report says two employees were charged with battery and another with obstruction of an officer. The legal team said Popeyes failed to do background checks on the employees involved. Their investigation found that the manager, Denise Evans, had a criminal history. In 2013, she was convicted of assault. In 2016, another conviction of assault and multiple other criminal conviction. So Atlanta News First went to the owner of the business, 755 Restaurant Corporation, and they had no comment, telling us their legal team is handling the matter. The only thing that ends this attack is that Ms. Dawson is able to get access to her purse where she has her licensed firearm and she's able to produce that firearm and it's only after she produces a firearm that the assault stops adam murphy atlanta news first now there ain't nothing but some straight up madness right there i mean just imagine you going to a restaurant spending money on or an order you understand and the quality is not up to par what you expect for it to be so you're not satisfied with the order and you just telling them hey this ain't right uh, I want you guys to either correct the order or just get my money back and these low lights come out and put their hands on you as far as I'm concerned young sister should have turned that equalizer loose on them you want to you really want to know the truth about it 
they would have deserved every bullet of it because this was definitely uncalled for this did i'm telling you society has gone mad you know it has gone mad nothing but wickedness all around us you know people think they can do what they want to do violate other people you understand and think life's supposed to go on as usual for them no you pay the price you understand now Popeyes is definitely negligent you understand for the behavior of their employees because this was all uncalled for you know and uh, like the young sisters doing you know hey sue the restaurant and the employees that was responsible for your damages here you know I mean you pull some of the woman's hair out the track out and all that old kind of stuff is uncalled for you know but this is the society that we live in now you know uh, wicked evil doing people that would dare you say something to them about something they've done you wrong for it really don't work like that but the most high word did say in these latter days that they come to make right wrong and wrong right you understand so basically this is what we're seeing you know uh, in massive proportions massive proportions but at least the young sister's doing the right thing you know uh, and as far as those employees who did that to her well hopefully they be jailed you know slapped with massive you know amounts of uh, fines and all that probation and all that kind of stuff so they can probably learn not to ever do a customer like this again you understand that's all I got on this one people I want you guys to tell me what you think about this particular story right here I'm interested in hearing your thoughts on it in the comment section like comment share and sub subscribe and people please remember to live your life as so we're being watched simply because we are this is James and I'm out. Peace.